Welcome back to my workspace and thank you for joining in today. Today, I'm just trying to, uh, to bring out, to give us kind of uh, a rundown to what to expect in the stock market this week that we're in. So, you know, things that events that happen or some event that doesn't happen, it, it, it kind of affects our portfolio. It affects the market. And once it affects the market, it affects directly or indirectly, it affects our investment. Even though on this platform, we are not trying to trade or we are not trying to day trade. We're trying to invest, to invest in our future, to create a generational wealth. But despite the fact that that is our goal and that is our plan, we also like to take advantage of opportunity as they present themselves, as it presents itself. If opportunities are there, I call it swing trading, which means you buy it, you wait maybe three weeks, maybe one month, maybe a you know, few days, and you let it go. It's like somebody, you know, you buying the rumor and selling the news. So when a rumor come out and said, uh, Apple is going to go out of business tomorrow. Now, you know, and I know that that is probably not true. That is not, it's, it's not true. But most, some of us, we believe that and we would dump Apple because of the insight and information and the data that we involved in that we have studied we know that is not true so we buy we buy apple based on the rumor that the apple is going to go bankrupt tomorrow so that's opportunity that it present itself we buy it and when the news finally came out or when the news finally comes out and said that is a rumor that is a lie then everybody rushed in then we sell so that's why we say sometimes you buy the rumor and sell the news. I think I will make it uh, uh, something that I do every at the beginning of every week to bring it up to say, hey, this is upcoming event for the week. So we are not trading, but we are swing trading just to take opportunity as it presents itself. So that's why I'm bringing it. So this week on the uh, on, on on Wednesday, uh, actually from uh, 19th and 20th, which means uh, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, the feds are having meeting. This meeting is where they decide on how to increase interest rate or not to increase interest rate or to pause interest rate. So Federal Reserve having meeting this week on Wednesday. And at 2 o'clock on Wednesday, it's, it's actually two days meeting, so 19 and 20. So on, on Wednesday, by 2 o'clock, that's when they're going to announce their uh, uh, decision. That's when the Board of Governors will announce their decision if they're going to increase interest rate or they're not going to increase interest rate. And at 2.30 on Wednesday, they have conference, you know, conference call. That's why we have a press release that the, uh, the Fed chairman come out and say something. Now, we all understand why the Fed is doing this. This doing this in order to bring down inflation because the infl inflation is high, which means the cost of goods and services is beyond the reach to, to the consumer. It's, it's getting out of hand. It's getting too high. So if it's getting too high, we, the, the Fed have, the government has to do something to bring it down just to, 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 to make things flow normally in the economy, to make the economy more strong. Now, the target of the, of the, of the Fed is 2% inflation rate. They will accept 2% inflationary rate. Now, why the government allowing 2% inflationary rate? Why do they allow it? inflation is inflation? So let me just say this, just just to get an idea. We are not in a class now. We are not in a class just to get idea of why and how this thing affect us personally, directly or indirectly. But at least if we go to store and buy stuff, we is is affecting us directly, everyone. So the reason why they kind of say okay, they're going to accept two percent. As at now, uh, uh, the inflation is about four point something or five percent right now, and the the target rate for that is two percent the fed said they're gonna they cannot take two percent no that's a long shot but that is the target that is the goal so if we go if, if the fed keep the interest rate right now it means uh maybe they are sign of that the inflation is going down no doubt about it inflation is coming down gradually but it's not fast enough and the higher the interest rate goes the more difficult difficult it is for us to borrow money the more money we're going to be paying on our credit card and all other things. So similar package is a policy to kind of pay down 
the activity to slow down things so that it will not get out of hand the two percent that is allowed allow is for the for the uh, uh, uh policy maker to be able to have that little room in case they have to do more later so they allow two percent for example if we if a pound of rice is is a dollar right one pound of rice for example is a dollar and all of a sudden it went from one dollar to a dollar twenty so we can say oh we have twenty percent inflationary rate 20 percent. that's high so the fed comes in and said we want to bring it down we want to bring it down back to we will accept a dollar two two cent one dollar two cent so we have to bring it down to a dollar two cent now why is the fed not going back to one dollar is because to create room a cushion a sock absorber a buffer zone that in case something happened and they have to adjust things they can do it so they accept a dollar two cent even though right now it's a dollar 20 so they bring it down by 18 percent. so that is what is going on now now we just get that just to get the idea of what is going on so the the fed is coming in the the, the meeting is coming on on wednesday and hopefully you know like everybody thinks that it's going to be uh, uh it's going to be a pause they're going to keep the rate steady they're not going to you know increase rates that is the that is the hope and that is the expectation now. And on Tuesday, there is uh, a report of uh, August housing report, and it, it gives a good insight to what the, uh, the, the status or the strength of the housing and uh, uh, housing and real estate and new mortgages and everything, how is going, how strong it is, how it's going on. That will be on Tuesday on the 19th. So this right here kind of give us the idea of what is going on in the, in the housing, what's going on in the real estate. And it's a great indicator of, of the strength of the economy also. So that report is coming out on Tuesday. So it's something that the analysts always look at to kind of you know, gauge what the strength of the economy is and how the, 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 the government policy, the Fed policy, how it's working and how it's, it's affecting, helping to, to, to bring down, to tail the uh, uh, inflation. So this report also will also have an impact in, in what is going on, on in the economy this week. It's well, going to affect this week. So we have to watch out for that, that the, the housing report is coming out on Tuesday and, and it is going to have some kind of uh, 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 effect on on the stock market and finally uh philadelphia you know manufacturing survey which is also a great indicator of how the the economy is doing philadelphia uh, report is just a survey of some area some region from regional area in the country so we talk about from uh philadelphia uh, uh new jersey and also delaware those are three areas where manufacturing survey is done and they use that because it's a strong indicator of nationwide, you know, manufacturing, you know, strength and, and, and progress. So that right there too is coming out on Thursday. So all this data, all this information will affect us this week. It's something for us to look forward to, to see if there are opportunity in there for us to be able to swing trade or to be able to adjust our portfolio as we want to. Now, this platform is not, like I've said earlier, we are, we are not trying to, to, to day trade, but we try to take, take advantage of opportunity that present itself. Like big company that people, true due to the sentiment that people just dump for, uh, uh, for a rumored news or something that is not really significant. They just dump it. It's about sentiment sometimes. Trading, you know, it's about sentiment sometimes. So when people do that, I see it sometimes as opportunity for me or for us to look into it if we can take advantage of that opportunity. So we buy the rumor and we sell the news. So that is why I'm bringing all these three events that I think is, is, is a big, bit high on most of the events that will, that will happen uh, this week. That is why... I'm bringing it up and i will try to start bringing that at the beginning of the week 
so that to help us to kind of know what is going on, what is coming up, what to expect, and how to prepare for ourselves. Again, nobody knows it all, but with all sharing this information within ourselves will help us. And don't forget, these are the three main points. There are other things. Actually, let me just show this. Uh, we're saying uh, fair decision, which is what I talked earlier. And uh, but this is this is another one that seems you know just for us to kind of pay attention to. Uh, but it's, it's not as uh, as uh, big as the first three that I, I mentioned. Uh, Fed, FedEx uh, earning, and uh, again, and the uh, UAW strike is affected. It started on Friday, really. You know, it started on on, on Friday. Let, let me say this. Look at this right here. It said the uh, the Fed is scheduled to meet on on September 19, which we already talked about, and uh, and also on the on the corporate side. FedEx is expected to report earnings on Wednesday, while all eyes will remain on the United Auto Workers. That's the, the, the UAW strikes. You know, that began on Friday and is expecting to impact production at, at uh, Stellatist, Stellatist, you know, and uh, GM and Ford. So if you own any of those uh, uh, stocks, there is possibility that the stock might be down now because the strike begins on Friday and no one knows how long the strike is going to be and, and how they already announced, you know, layoff already. So nobody knows how bad it's going to be or or when it's the, the, uh, the strike is going to be over. So that's what I'm talking about when I was talking about, you know, uh, uh, buying, buying the, uh, 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 the rumor and selling the news but in this case now this is for read this is confirmed information uh the uh the uh, uaw is on strike okay and that is that is one that is one and uh and also you know nobody knows what what is going to come up uh in all these uh all these strike now and uh the interest rate is another one uh, FedEx, uh, FedEx earning report is is another one. I just think I should just kind of uh, bring that bring that here for us to kind of also consider those things. So apart from the three main things that I've mentioned earlier, just this uh, FedEx earning, and uh, again the uh, uh, the 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 auto strike, the uh, United uh, Auto Workers strike. So that as that's another one that I want us to. Uh... So that's about it for the uh, for this video. I hope we all make money. I hope we all have exciting week ahead. And we I hope we all, you know, be good and, and be happy with the decision that we make. This is a great week. This is a great day. And we should take advantage and, and, and do the best for ourselves. If this is your first time on this channel, if you have not been sharing this video or not commenting on video, I would like you to support this channel. And I would like you to comment and share this video. Hit like. Let make this this channel relevant. Let it relevant for us to continue to bring different different content, content that will help us to, in our decision making, content that will help us in in making a decision that ordinarily we may have not paid attention to. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining in. Thank you for being here today. As I see you in the next video, have a wonderful day.